Welcome to Breaking Changes, where we highlight what's going on in the Kiskit universe. I'm your host, Nick Braun. We begin with the release of Kiskit 0.37. This meta package includes an update to Terra 0.21, upgrades to Nature, Optimization, IBM Runtime, IBM Provider, Metal, and a new Air release will be scheduled at the end of July. In development news, Kiskit Terra will move to a fixed three-month release cycle in 2023 to be released at the end of the months of January, April, July, and October. After its three-month deprecation cycle, Kiskit Ignis has been removed from the Kiskit meta package and is replaced by Kiskit Experiments for quantum calibration and characterization. This follows the previous deprecation and removal of Aqua, which will be replaced by the applications modules. The migration guides for both are provided in the description. This means they are no longer installed by the pip install Kiskit command. In fake backends used for noisy simulations news, Kiskit.test.mock is now deprecated. Please use kiskit.providers.fake underscore provider from now on. And in the world of stochastic optimization, the spsa.optimize method has been replaced by spa.minimize. Other important features news now. The data type of quantum circuit.data is now a list of circuit instruction objects instead of a tuple of instructions, qubits, and CL bits, but can still be used that way for backward compatibility. Serialization, which lets you save and send quantum circuits over the cloud, is now available for Pulse programs in the form of schedule blocks. Let's take a look. We'll start by importing the Pulse and QPY modules from Kiskit. Then we can build a schedule by playing a Gaussian pulse on drive channel 0, and then we can save this using QPY as a file called schedule.qpy. We can open that back up and get our new schedule out of the save file and show that we displayed the same Gaussian that we intended to show before. Note that users should start using the new symbolic pulse base class as parametric pulse is being deprecated. And there are several improvements to the Kiskit transpiler, which converts quantum circuits from an abstract form to something that can be run on a physical backend. VF2 post layout joins VF2 layout in finding the best subgraph of qubits to use on a given device, but happens after the circuit is transpiled. Another layout routine based on the time optimal qubit mapping is available via pip install Kiskit token. A stage pass manager is introduced that has a pipeline with defined phases to perform circuit compilation. Each phase is a pass manager object that will get executed in a fixed order. Let's take a look. After importing all our transpiler passes, we'll create a two-stage pass manager with the init and translate stages. These are generated just as pass managers, but they have their own phases that they exist within to for flexibility. And we can see the stages in it and translate are part of those. And lastly, let's thank the Kiskit contributors that make this stable release possible. I've been your host, Nick Braun, and thank you for dealing with the breaking changes. Mm -hmm.